I saw it. Uh, now to the fallout pussy. on what many are calling a racially charged snub by a popular character at Sesame Place. The lawyer for the two families of the two six-year-old girls has now released a new video from a new angle to substantiate, they say, their claims. Alicia's here now with this latest piece of evidence and still a big talker here. Absolutely. Everyone talking about this. And we should tell you that attorney... B. Ivory Lamar gave Sesame Place a deadline to respond, threatening to release this new angle of the alleged incident. And you're going to get a closer look in just a moment. Here, he says, we see the girls from the other side of the parade route. Lamar wrote, writing, quote, this video clearly shows that Skylar and Nyla were approximately two feet away from the Caucasian lady with the purple shirt, who was the last person to receive a high five from Rosita. The family says when their girls waved to the character and asked for a high five, maybe a hug they were blatantly passed over for the white family next to them this is the original video here that of course has gone viral all across the globe taken by the family other families have come forward with similar videos like Sydney Moore who says that her two-year-old son MJ was also ignored by the very same character we see that right here in this video as it plays out in a new statement provided to Action News overnight Sesame Place says in part, quote, to be very clear what the two girl, young girls experienced, what the family experienced is un unacceptable. It is our responsibility to make this better for the children and the family and to be better for all families. Now, another step in this, nationally renowned civil rights and personal injury attorney Ben Crump has now joined this case. They are planning a press conference for tomorrow at noon to update everyone on where we go next in this story, which is playing out right here in Langhorn, our own backyard. All right, stand by for that. Thank you, Alicia. This, uh, I guess the, I forget what character, the Sesame character was, you know, walking down the, the parade and hugging and kissing all the white babies but purposely passing by the black children. But, you know, they what went viral was the one incident, but they, there are other clips on YouTube where this person went through the whole day not touching any of the black children, leaving some of them stuck. Like, you know, when you're, when you're a little kid and you go there, imagine meeting my, my nigga was Kermit the Frog. So I... You, you know what I'm saying? I couldn't imagine being a little kid. You meet Kermit, he go, fuck you, Colin, get away. You fucking nigga, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, be crushed as fuck. Look, at these little kids, they crushed as fuck. You won't be able to watch Muppets ever again. Nah, man, they crushed the fuck. And then, and then they try to make it seem like, you know, the guy was talking about saying no to someone behind the kids. You know what I mean? But nah, that was some bullshit, watch. Sesame Street is for us. And, that, and, and, that's, and, and that's the thing that a lot of people don't know about Sesame Street. At a certain time, uh, in the 70s, the, the early 70s, uh, a lot of programs and stuff just continued. So, uh, the powers that be knew that uh, television, a lot of the, the new um, single moms was home a lot. And they would do nothing but sit their children in front of the television. And that's where the idea really came from for Sesame Street. Because the literacy level in the urban community at that particular time was at an all-time low. 
So they put that shit. And if you listen to Sesame Street, that's why the music's a certain way. The main characters that remember the brother with the mustache and his wife, they are all black. Sesame Street is for us, for black, you know, minorities. So for me, knowing the knowledge of Sesame Street and where it comes from and why it even exists in the first fucking place, to see whoever that was destroying them little, them little babies' uh, heart, man, that shit made me mad. And that's a fact. Because look, all of that, that's us. Yeah. Yo, Burn Ernie was Spanish. For sure. 100%. The little, uh, they was, they was uh, probably Puerto Rican gay men. <laughs> nah, come on. They were sleeping in the same bed. <laughs> and I'll, I'll also come to the conclusion that SpongeBob and Patrick are gay, too. Well, actually, they actually just made SpongeBob gay, too, like a couple years ago. That show sucks so much more. Now, it hasn't been well, good for a, a, a while. Say, I said, why would you give him a sexual identity? You know, I know, it's, it's a, a sponge. Yeah. It's a fucking sponge. It's a fucking sponge. Why? Because he's a bunch of holes? <laughs> yeah, it is gross. But, um, what is it? Yeah, man, that is fucked up, man. You know what would be really... Imagine the guy under that mask is black. Because we don't know what race he is. Un underneath that fucking, uh, the mask guy. Underneath the, uh, Sesame Place. What if he's a black dude? He's most likely white, obviously. But it would be an oxymoron if he was black. Mm -hmm. That would be some shit. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. fucked up, though. Yeah, that is fucked up, man. Like, imagine you took your daughter. That would hurt. You took Sage. I'm over the, yeah, I know. I know. The... Motherfucker, you better hug my fucking kid. Yeah. yeah. Or are you gonna hug a fist? You know how much money I just spent? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh she's hey, really. Hey, what the fuck you doing? I mean, it's like, yo, I gotta go home with this. No, 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 motherfucker, you fix this. Yeah, yeah. I know Chucky come off. She, she, she fucking bad. take off. Chucky come off. Oh yeah, Chuck, Chuck Chucky's a scary. Oh, Chuck, Chucky oh. Cheese, she fucking Jared Johnson tail outside the building. Oh. If we see, if I see a mascot like that and she wants to hug them, they curve her. I'd be fucking. Do you know how much money I paid? How many fucking mascots she ran from? Yo, you? yo, I, yo, I, yo, what? I gotta see that. I, w I thought that would be hilarious. Seeing this nigga fighting, like, the Cookie Monster. Yeah, I will. <laughs> I'll, I'll, like, I'll, like, go ahead up, nigga, with Big Bird, nigga. Like, yo. He's like, yo, what's up? <laughs> yo, yo, that yeah. shit would be hilarious, nigga. <laughs> yeah. It's all like, Will, when Will was fighting the um, Barney thing and the French Prince. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, it exactly yeah. would be like that. Right. That would be hilarious. Yo, if Cookie Monster whoop your ass, I'm laughing. Dog. Like, hey, no, John, it was a tie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cookie? <laughs> that should be fucking yeah, funny as fuck. <laughs> Nigga got dropped by Elmo. <laughs> oh, shit. You on the ground tickles me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. You did more than just tickle you, yo. That shit's funny. Oscar the Grouch. Oscar the Grouch is black. He would be black because he got the roughest fucking, like, life. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, this is just fucked up. I would, too. I live in a trash can. The fuck? I live in a trash can, nigga. Of course you'd be mad. You'd be fucking mad. Yo, remember killing him softly? Yeah. yeah. That nigga's a pimp. The fuck? <laughs> nah, nah, nah. The vampire. Yeah. A two, a three. <laughs> Where's my money? That shit was hilarious. <laughs> oh man, yeah, we gonna end on that note, man. Um, yeah, I was always a Sesame Street dude. Um, over Barney. Yeah, man. And it was the hood. Sesame Street. That was the hood. That's fucked up, dog. But I could, yo, anybody, like, you take your kid, even if it's, your, like, your little cousin, your, your niece, yeah. nephew, whatever. Like, you just see them do, like, some cold shit to a kid. It's like, 
Wait, Nick, what the fuck? Right. What type of evil are you? Yeah. yeah. See, that's why the Knicks never won a title after that. Mama, there goes that man. Yo, what's good, man? What's happening, y'all? You like what you saw, man? We're going to need a favor. We're going to need y'all to point and click, subscribe, and tell everybody you know about the Buck Brothers. Boy, what the fuck you waiting for, nigga? Man, and don't forget to send us money. Donation, nigga. Send that money. We need it. Keep it a buck. Give us a buck so we can keep it a buck. Fool. All right, y'all, man. Thank y'all. Peace. Peace.